and NC. She turned around. <clears throat> yep, she turned around. She's coming she out. comes. She's pretty cool looking. Oh, she is. Or is she going to be like strawberry and just play with it? I just play with it. Okay. She did not want it. Chaco who? Chaco. He's ready. So that is our Chaco. He's done an awesome takedown. Chaco Golden Knee. Be a mealer. Starting to get their adult colors. What are you giving them? Small super. Okay. Oh yeah. Not a problem. Be Amelia. As there be Amelia taking down a small superworm. El Nigerian. Squish your mealworm good or you going super, he's not that big. Bigger than you think he is. Smaller than you think he is. What if I can find a small one? There he is. He just molted? That's a molt lab. Oh, is it? Yeah. Hard to see because he's dark. But he's right there. He just molted. Where's his molt? He's on it. Or he's molting right now. But he's on it. Yeah, he's on it. This is G. Rosea, a red color form. A good eater, so. Mm-hmm. <laughs> he's trying to catch the head of the superworm. So that's our G. Rosea red color form. Mm -hmm. This is Poppy. We call them Poppy. This is our P. Sazami. They just molted. And we think they're female. Because of those awesome colors. They do the sexual dimorphism. Where the females are blue, the males are brown. There she is. This is one of our newer ones we got at the last show. Amphobedius Machala. Tiny little molt. Our first Machala molt. Little tiny Machala molt. Oh, yeah, they want it then. Do they have it? They're going for it. They have it. Oh, that's pretty uh, tame for a Pampho. So there's our Pampho Machala. Mm-hmm. Pretty calm. They so were far. pretty calm. They're a freak. They'll take a super, super probably. You got yeah. like two up here. You got two up here. You think they're too big? No, they're a freak. So this is, uh, which one is this? Formictivus Conceritis. Yeah, there you go. Probably their freak. <laughs> they took us over worm last week, too, so. They're growing pretty fast. They are very fast growers. For Victimus, Concerti is number two. They backed up. They're fat. Oh, oh that's the threat pose. Uh, yeah, a big one. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> Giant sorry, threat sorry. Pose. 
They don't want to eat. <laughs> you think they'll take water, though. So my guess is they're not hungry. Yeah, they're telling us, uh, hey, so, I'm not hungry. Now we're starting to see the yeah, Concerti's attitude. Okay, we're done. Relax. <laughs> Can I get the, the 3D view of that? That was funny. We're going to check on our uh, female pumpkin patch. And we're going to move her. Because this is a reoccurring thing. And she's going to die if we keep her in this. So we have a container here for her. It might not be appropriate for her, but it's a container for her. So this is pumpkin patch. We've missed it down the sides of the enclosure and the tub, tub that we're doing the transferring because we found that terrestrial tarantulas, who like to bolt, cannot climb wet surfaces. So, here we go. And the paper towel tube method or toilet paper tube. Where is she? She's on the outside of it. Okay. I'll just leave her there. That's another thing for her to play around on. Into We put springtails in here. We tried everything and it's just not getting rid of the mold, so here we go. Rehousing time. Yep. And this is our Pamphobidius nigerium. And they don't really need to be fed because look at that They look fatty. like they're ready to explode. They will explode if we feed them. We're just going to give them some water. They would probably eat, but we really don't want them to explode. We'll put a little bit of moisture in in case they do molt. So that is our... Oh, holy crap. Fat. Super fat. Pamphibidius nigerium. And they still have their Christmas tree. Mm hmm. In cool colors. And they're really docile, which is. And they're super, super duper white spot. Telling me they're ready to molt. <laughs> they're so fat they can't even flick hairs at us this time. Yeah, they're not flicking hairs. That's telling you how fat they are. <laughs> That's funny. Be vegans. Brachypoma vegans. Everybody loves the vegans. This one always eats the like, like cool colors on them. But because vegans, they like to easily take anything and fight with it. Mm hmm. Oh. Bahama Bohemi. Sorry. Actually, I think it might be a hybrid between a Bohemi and a Bumgardi. I don't think it's a true Bohemi. I'm still calling it a fire leg because it's got fiery legs. Mm -hmm. Smithy B. Homori. The original B. Smithy, which is now the B. Homori. This should take a pretty good size super. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No problem. This is our female ladybird spider. Wacky uh, wacko. Wackinari herbius wackinari. She is a crazy feeder. Here she comes. She's pretty big too. I think she molted recently. She did. She uses body parts and molts for her webs, so. There she is. That's our ladybird. Lassiodora parabona. This is our nutcase. Nutcase. Yes. Give you a nice molted one.
So this is a, a Canthoscuria geniculata. Number one, or AGR, as we call them. I don't know if they're hungry or not. They're going for it. Oh, yep. Yeah. I saw legs. This is their female. And she's got it. Yeah, throw superworms everywhere. Maybe I'll just throw them in there. This is Lassiodora Parabana number one. And number two. Fuck, any more? She tried, she tried to grab the other one. She was having issues. So she's a very good size now. There's my hand. I won't get it too close. In case she decides it's food. And she's not crazy like the other one. No, I think the other one's male, this one's female. Yeah, the other one, one's like crazy, psycho. This one's very calm. Food aggressive, but calm. There's her old hide, right there. She is food aggressive. <laughs> <laughs> you want another one? She'd take another one. I don't think you need any more, but just her shits and giggles. So that's four superworms. She can't keep them all. She's trying. That's all right. I'll keep her busy she for a while. She is food aggressive. So food aggressive. This is why these ones are not recommended for handling. Who we got here? Acanthoscria mucilosa. No, they're pre molt. Yep. Hattie Hattie. They went into that tube at the front there. They have springtails in there. And he grabbed it. Who That's our this? Samopoas Reduncus. They look good. Reduncus, right there. So those are Samopoas reduncus. Orange fringe. Orange fringe. See you, Marshalli. Well, at least there's a couple of few there's openings. A good tube right there by the the new water dish. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it disappeared, by the way. Probably. In an instant. Oh, sorry. So that's the feeding we get from our sea marshalli. They're a pet hole right now. They're a pet hole. But they do make cool webs. They do. Every time we open up the container, it's different. He's humongous. <laughs> so I guess he's hungry. You've gotten... I think he's doubled in size. Yeah, he's getting <clears throat> bigger. He's still really tiny, but he's getting there. And he likes eating. H. Insay. As soon as it moves, it's gone. I know. If it moves. Oh, there it goes. And gone. As am I. Down there, hide. I know. They're turning around. 
Got it. Nice. That's our piece as my number three. As you can see, they're not as blue as the other ones. Not yet, anyway. Go down. Oh, I think she's got it. Not yet. Oh, here comes the movement. This is our versicolor. There he is. They'd be getting ready to molt soon. Yeah, they didn't eat their last food. Mm -mm. And they're pretty fat. Ugh, I know. Avic Avic. The Avic Avic. They are the pink toe, but right now they are not pink toed. More like a black toe. <laughs> they attacked it. What's this one? I see. You know the hole towards me? Mm-hmm. He's down there. I see a little thingy down there. I think there's some wrestling going on in there. Probably. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> this is our Kilimanjaro baboon. Oh, I see him. He has legs out. He knows what's going on. <laughs> uh, yep, yeah, food. You can probably feed him another. Remember him? That's a pretty big one, though. He takes more than one. Yeah, he's wrapped around it. Mm hmm. This is our Kilimanjaro baboon. Yep. Yeah. Food. Kiliobrachius something from uh, Give Me Food. Kiliobrachius frimbriatus. That's their second mealworm. These are Scolopendra pananum, I think. I probably butchered the name, but. Every time. Let's squish it and throw it in there. They killed the other one. Yeah, squish it and throw it in there. We usually kill them when they go down under. But he jumped on the last one. I know. 